a SpaceX rocket took off from Cape Canaveral seven years ago. And now the upper stage of it is evidently going to hit the moon. Projections say on March 4th. So when this Falcon 9 rocket took off in February of 2015, this part of the rocket, the upper stage, was not meant to come back to Earth. It was meant to get a laboratory into space. The laboratory is called the Deep Space Climate Observatory, and it basically, you know, takes pictures of the Earth and watches for interesting weather. So, you know, the satellite's where it's supposed to be, but the rocket is kind of just what had been flying around because it didn't, it wasn't meant to come back to Earth. Some amateur and professional astronomers started realizing, wait a minute, this thing is finally going to hit the moon because its uh, orbits and, and travel was eventually uh, going to hit it. And that's supposed to happen in March. As far as, as experts know, this is the first time a man-made object has accidentally hit the moon. Now, this piece of the upper stage of the Falcon 9 rocket weighs about four tons. It's going to be going about 5,000 miles an hour. You know, it's going to hit the moon, but it's not really going to hurt anything because things are going that fast all the time and hitting the moon. I mean, the reason that's craters is, is because asteroids and, you know, natural objects have hit the moon over thousands and hundreds of thousands of years. What's interesting is this is going to happen on the far side of the moon, so we can't really see it. So we won't really know what happens. But there is some thought that perhaps subsequently um, some of our monitoring devices might be able to look at the crater that's created and see perhaps into parts of the moon that haven't been really excavated. There is a growing concern about space junk. You know, for decades, countries have been sending things into outer space, satellites, rockets, and, and stuff is up there floating around. Now companies are sending things into outer space. This was sent up by SpaceX, Elon Musk's company. So some experts think maybe it's time to have some oversight over what's being sent up and where it's being sent up and are there at some point do we have to start saying this is too much or you got to make sure it comes back or the discussion is starting i think hey thanks for watching if you like this video check out these other videos from usa today to stay up to date with all the latest news